Michael. Yoo-hoo, Earth to no, Michael. I'm playing here. But you've been playing that game for two days straight. You haven't done anything else since you got it. It's lousy. Uh-uh, not true. I ate once and Mom asked me to brush my teeth, <laughs> and I did, so there. <laughs> so there what? What? You're just jealous. Woohoo! Hello, Wendy. Hi, Peter. No, I'm not. Whoa. I just don't want to play alone anymore. Perfect timing, because that kind of thing never happens in Neverland. So, who wants a little fairy dust before leaving? I'm ready. Hmm, yeah, uh, well, actually, I want to stay home tonight. I have to finish my game. Huh? huh? Tink? Hey! <gasps> if you want to keep it, you'll have to follow it. And it looks like it's going straight to Neverland. Uh, all right. Hmm. <sighs> I can feel it. Almost how much? Almost a lot or almost a little? Because this almost has lasted a long time and I... What? Reassure me that I didn't hear correctly. My faithful and loyal crew wouldn't be complaining, I hope. Of course we're complaining. Take me, for example. This morning I ironed my favorite beloved suit with utmost care, only to explore yet another disgustingly dirty cave. Boy, Mr. Smee, they're complaining, are they not? I'm afraid so, Captain. What an unworthy crew you are. I promised you a treasure, and I'll give you a treasure. Now get moving! No way. If you want a treasure, then go and get your suit dirty, not mine. Yeah, yeah he's right. I can't take you there more. Pirates, I know you're all tired and disappointed. But it's all because of that blasted Peter Pan. That who... Peter? He's so good. Maybe we should name him Captain, since he always finds the treasure before we do. No, that... that's not very nice. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Yes, go join your little friends. Yes, this can't go on. We're sick and tired of... Oh. Look, up there! Treasure! Ah, I told you so! Treasure! Hey, Michael, are you coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Would you forget about that stupid thing? You're not even playing. That little guy in there is doing all the work. Yeah, but I'm making him do it. So... Why don't we hurry to Neverland instead of arguing, eh? I saw it first! Me, I saw it me. first! Oh, I, got I it. saw it first! Yeah. Oh. Hmm. What is it? <sighs> huh? Peter, what's going on? I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see! Let me see! Let me see! <laughs> but that's just a sextant. An ordinary sextant. You promised us a treasure, and this is all we find. An old forgotten sextant. Yeah, he's yeah, right. He's right. right. I he's can't right. take it no more. Mm. My old forgotten sextant? <laughs> Are you kidding? We finally found the magic sextant that will lead us straight to the greatest treasure. <laughs> so, are you finished with this rebellion business now? Arr, very good. So let's get a move on to the Jolly Roger! <laughs> I think it's really closed. Then we should just go home. I might be able to find a solution in the Great Book of Neverland. But, um, uh, aren't we going to get bored in London? Of course not. Michael will show you his toys. I can't get past the star. The passageway is closed. What? But how does this work? 
I don't know, but I know who will. The tribe chief. Huh. Great idea, Mira. You should all stay here in case the boys come back. Tinkerbell and I will go see. Mm -mm -mm. I never said I wanted to team up with you. Whatever you say, Tink. But in that case, Peter will remain in London, and I'll stay here with you in Neverland forever. What? What are we waiting for? Let's get going! Which way is it? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I know that the passageway from London to Neverland exists because of a magic sextant, but it has just to be aimed at the star for the passageway to open again. But it is very easy to use. Someone must have moved it. And where is this sextant? Because actually, you know, I think it would be great if Wendy could go home. Like, soon. We, natives, got the responsibility of hiding it a long time ago. So I can take you to where it was hidden, if you want. Great. Thanks, Lily. Okay, this is a paddle ball game, and that's a super ball. And this is a dinosaur. There! Cool! You want to play with your dino thing? Oh, no! Not that stupid game! Stop saying it's stupid! You've never even tried it! Great idea, oh. Michael. You should let Peter try your console, so maybe he'll understand why it's cool. <laughs> There's got to be a solution in here somewhere. I don't understand. It's supposed to be here. Well, it looks like it had company. <laughs> hmm. This belongs to Jake Sorrow. Well, are you ready to go kick some pirate butt? Always. <laughs> what? Where is the Jolly Roger? It's always here. You don't mean to tell me they went out to sea. Impossible! How I love to be on the open sea. It's so invigorating. Don't you think so, pirates? Mm. Help, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> My whole crew is seasick? Is this a joke? You should tell me so I don't forget to laugh. It's just that it's been so long since we've been to sea, Captain, that we've kind of lost the knack. Now listen, and listen good. You had better find your knack very quickly, because otherwise you're gonna get closely acquainted with the flank. Understand? Plank. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, into the sea, you sun-dried octopus! Now get back to your posts! Immediately, you bunch of tuna brains! But this is stupid! In real life, you just charge right at pirates and that's it! Yes, but you need to use a little strategy here. Okay, your turn. Make sure you reload your cannon. Huh? Ah. Aha! Here it is. To open the secret passageways to Neverland, you need to get a silphy leaf. Oh well, what else? Hello? Let me have a turn, will you? So you just have to aim the sextant at the star. The problem is that the pirates stole it. Then let's go attack them! Come on, lost kids! Yeah, well, we can't because uh, they've gone out to sea. The pirates? Out to sea? That's like fairy dust not making you fly. I I it's impossible. But it doesn't change anything. Tinkerbell, you can make us fly, can't you? Attacking the pirates without Peter, that's risky. I say we need weapons. And to transport the weapons, we need a boat. Okay, girls, you can go play while we build something amazing for you. <laughs> or we can have a contest. You build one boat, we'll build another. And we'll see which one is best, okay? <laughs> if you want to make fools of yourselves, be our guests. <laughs> My dear crewmates, it is out of the question that the captain tossed me overboard in my fine clothing, which is so delicate and refined that the little brat Tinkerbell would turn green with jealousy at the sight of it. Got it? Uh huh. What? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Oom-ba-ba, oom-ba-ba, oom-ba, oom-ba, oom-ba-ba. Huh. 
This doesn't work either. What should we do, Peter? Uh, he's been like this since he first touched the game. Uh, I don't know what to do, John. We can't keep Peter Pan here forever. Can you imagine what we would say to Mother? Oops, Wendy turned into a strange flying boy overnight. No, I really have to find a solution. Okay, I'll try to find a way to get him away from that thing. So, we're going to get used to the sea first by learning to swim the breaststroke. Now, do it like me. I, T, Froggy. I, T, Froggy. I, T, Froggy. No way! The wheel can't be that high! That should go there! <laughs> finished! We're finished! <laughs> you actually think your gizmo's going to go to sea? <laughs> it's too heavy! It's going to sink! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> the sea? Whoever mentioned the sea? Tink, you're on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, you can ride with us. Oh, we'll never all fit on your boat, but you can go ahead without us, as long as Wendy tells us what it was like to save Peter. Mm -hmm. See you later. They're so strong, handsome, and brave. I don't see why the captain always says that. Lost kids, I. Total losers. doesn't even work. I don't know what will. Because for once, I didn't do anything. Not even an evil little plan or a simple conspiracy. I was just having tea with Smee, see? Come on, Captain. Tell us the truth. We know full well that you stole... Oh. Hmm... Th this teacup! It's ours! First, that's not even true. This tea set has been in my family for generations. No, it hasn't! <laughs> Yes, it has! Oh, that's not our teacup. Oh, well. Sorry we bothered you. <laughs> Captain! The sextant! <gasps> Don't, <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> Stop it! Well, what's so very special about this gizmo that you would be so very eager to recover it? Huh! If you really think I'm going to tell you that Peter can't return to Neverland without that, you've got... Oops! Boy, 
You mean that as long as I have this sextant, Peter Pan is trapped in London? <laughs> Pirates! Ready the plank for these ladies. And this time, you won't be able to count on your precious Peter to come rescue you. Well, I don't know how to get Peter away from that thing. What do you think they're doing in Neverland? Catching fireflies? Or maybe they finally found the firework butterflies we were looking for last time? Don't know. But I'm really sorry. If I hadn't argued with Peter, we would be in Neverland right now. Don't worry, Michael. We'll find a way to go there again. Yeah, but you know what? The worst is, is that I have no idea how I could have ever preferred playing my video game to going to Neverland. Tinkerbell. The sextant. If you sprinkle it with fairy dust, Lily and I should be able to do the rest. Oh, yeah. It's like my father said. Just aim it at the star. I won. I managed to get rid of Peter Pan for good. Magnificent, Captain. You are simply magnificent. I don't get it. Wasn't that sextant supposed to lead us to treasure? No, no, and no. You lot don't understand anything. From the very start, I wanted to steal the sextant to trap Peter Pan in London. That way we can hunt for treasures peacefully. The captain's plan has been changing all day long. And what a plan it was. Especially since you didn't even know what the sextant was used for until we told you. Uh, That's no. true. Yes, she's right. All right. Those not happy with the situation can accompany the girls on the plank. Uh, Am I clear? So let's hurry up and go. Okay, what are we waiting for? Peter forever in London, then we'll keep Wendy here. No! No! Get ready, boys! Oh. Emergency uh. landing! Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> this thing looks important. you yet, you little worm! It's your turn, partner! <laughs> hey, it's my men's fault. They're obsessed with treasures, so I had to find one. I didn't mean any harm. I just wanted to get rid of Peter Pan once and for all. 
I could jump all by myself if you like. in Mount Python. <gasps> I could go for a little mountain climbing myself. We have to go home. Mom will be coming to tuck us in soon. <sighs> I'm sorry. This whole mess is kind of my fault. If I hadn't insisted on playing my console... Don't worry. We'll come back tomorrow. Right, Peter? Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. We have ten minutes before lights out. What should we do? I bet you want to finish your game, given that Peter wouldn't let you touch it all night. Nah, I'd rather do something altogether. I'll play with my console when I'm all alone. How about a little story? Yeah! Once upon a time, there was a star. for the music of clashing steel. What now? A hit? Not much. <laughs> to be in the punch, the stroke I steal. <laughs> when, at the envoi, I... Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. John. Huh? It's for you. It's Maxine. Max? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hi, Max. <laughs> what? Help you with your math homework? Um, well, I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> yeah, sure. Later, I promise. <gasps> Hello? Anna? Hi. Um... <laughs> well, I was just telling Maxime that I can't really help right now. Yeah, I know you might get a bad grade without my help, but... And then, you see, you measure the base of your parallelogram and multiply that by the height. Okay? Great. See you tomorrow. You know what? If you don't play Cyrano, you could still teach math. Uh. <laughs> Hi, boys. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Peter. Hi, Tinkerbell. Really, John, you had better forget about it. I think you're right, Michael. I'm just not made for fencing. You want to learn how to handle a sword? Then I can train you in Neverland. I'm a champion, you know. You really think I can learn how? Well, we'll just have to practice a bit and find out. Come on, let's go. Follow me. Wow. Ooh, hey, wait for me. Yahoo! Up, up, and away! Yeah! Don't tell me they destroyed everything again. <laughs> hey, look at me! Yeah! <laughs> it's the pig's fault. They broke everything again last night. What are you talking about? The wild pigs. They keep attacking our amusement park and destroying it. Really? You haven't found a way to keep them away? That's the problem. In fact, we were kind of counting on you to find a solution. Oh, no. No, no, and no. I'm practicing fencing with Peter today. Peter? Come on, John. It'll only take you two seconds to figure it out, and then we'll have all day to practice. Uh, okay, okay. I'll handle it. Atta boy. Let's see what I can find in the Great Book of Neverland. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. And do you think you can maybe tell Cynthia how to fix the slide? Why do we always have to cut wood anyway? Because I'd like to sit around and sharpen my hook too, you know. I mean, I don't have a hook, but if I did have a hook, well, I wouldn't mind sharpening it. But since I don't have one, I always get stuck cutting wood. And I never get any time to have fun. It's just not fair. And I don't know why you guys keep making faces at me. It's not funny. They want to tell you that you might be severely punished for your rebellion. Punished? Of course not. 
I'm going to bake you a delicious chocolate cake. That... that's real nice. With cream, right? Mm -hmm. Why, no, you squid face! Mm -hmm. Since you dare to criticize my orders, you'll be cutting wood for two months! Now go get to work! Well, that... that's not nice at all. Got it. You're going to make them shell necklaces? Of course not. These are sing-song shells, conch shells that let you imitate animal calls. Well done! Huh? And everyone knows that pigs are afraid of... Big bad wolves. wolves! Oh, no. To find them, we have to solve a riddle first. Oh! <gasps> I thought I was going to have to fight monsters and everything again. But riddles? That's a job for you. <laughs> In the heart of the forest. We're here. And then, near the winged plants. Hmm. Huh? 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 <laughs> well, where do we go? Um, the flying nursery, I suppose. Totally cool. You'll find behind your own face <laughs> the animal of your thoughts. <laughs> yeah! Well, I guess I found my own face. <laughs> I've never seen shells around here before. A giraffe sing shell. <laughs> and me a tiger. <gasps> this stinks. Your doohickey doesn't even work. That's because you have to hold the sing song shell in the right direction, like this, and blow gently. Come on, you bunch of stuffed tuna sandwiches! Wow. You got the hook sing song shell. You're so lucky. I think that maybe our dear captain is somewhere nearby. And I have a fantastic idea for a big old laugh. Everybody hide. <laughs> and one, two, one, two, one, two. Tell me you're afraid of a teeny tiny elephant. Maybe not an elephant, but what about me? <laughs> Watch out! Sneezing flowers in action! Fall back! Fall back! Way to go, John! Achoo! What? No, it can't be. I'm in Dagon's body. Hurry up, your squid face! Well, Dagon, you want to fight? Oh, no! Achoo! You're right, John. We should take care of the pigs. Pigs? <laughs> Which pigs? You know, the wild pigs. Wild pigs? How did I end up in a pirate's body? It must be some kind of magic spell. Or curse. Boy for me, Cap. Too. I take wild pigs over cutthroat pirates any day. Oh boy, I have to get away fast before they suspect something. Oh darn! I um I left my um axe in the forest and um. Uh... And now you're trying to skip practice too. That'll be an additional three months of wood splitting for you, squid face. Now everyone, line up. <laughs> No, if I'm in John's body, does that mean I'm John or not? Because at the same time, John is in my body, but maybe it's not my body anymore. My turn on the slide. <laughs> Sliding boards? <laughs> Whoa, slow down now. Do I have to remind you that the slide is broken? And actually, I could use a hand fixing it. Me? Help? You think you're the captain when he wants me to work? Um, I mean, to make those... Horrible, mean pirates work? Wait, would you like me to kick your butt in a sword fight as planned? What? Huh? No, no, why, I'll help. Of course I'll help. Great. I hope you can work with wood. Ugh. Just forget about it, Peter. Ever since he started acting, he gets super weird once in a while. And all I want to do is jump on the trampoline! Yahoo! Hmm, what's this for? 
Wait for me, Wendy. <laughs> you are going to jump, dodge, climb, roll, and fight. Because whoever's last will feel the tickle of my sword. Understand? <laughs> oh. Pirate training. This is just what I need for my role. And after all, what's the hurry? I can stick around a while. Ready. Set. Go! <laughs> on the slide. What a bummer. Are you really sure about that drawing? Hmm. How would I know? I don't know beans about fixing things. Uh, just kidding. Actually, I'm sure because the, um... The bolt? Yeah, the bolt. We gotta attach it to the, um... Spring. Exactly. So then it can, um... Activate the shock-absorbing mechanism we installed last time? Mm-hmm. Why, of course! You're the best, John. Better tell Hook. Oh, um, Tinkerbell, she, um, told me that, um... Huh? Oh, a flower trampoline? You want to give it a try? No way! I need your help here! Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, sure, of course. Let's see. The best defense is always a good offense. Okay, I just need to get through this, and then I'll be totally ripe to play Cyrano. Come on! <laughs> on guard, squid face! <laughs> <laughs> Hold your sword tighter. You won't even be able to open an oyster like that. <laughs> Move your shoulders. <laughs> Almost finished. Almost finished. All right. It looks a little strange, doesn't it? What do you think? I think it looks fine, and I can't take it anymore. I want to play, not work, and I didn't even get to try these things yet. <gasps> How does this work? Um, you're the one who's supposed to know. Yeah, but just because he read it doesn't mean he can do it on the first try. Yeah, I've been trying it a whole bunch, and I still can't do it. Even if it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Don't worry, Michael. We can do it. Come on. Let's all practice our sing-song shells. <gasps> Sheesh, this is no way to live. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Come on, John. Hang in there. This is great for your Cyrano roll. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger roll. Impressive, no? <laughs> and that marks the end of training for today. <laughs> and now, spot duty for everyone. Already? But practice was great. I mean, um, do you really think we need to peel more potatoes? Why, of course I think so. I even think that since you dare to question me, you'll peel all the potatoes by yourself. Oh, um, are there a lot? Hmm? Hmm. Uh oh, not nearly as good as sword practice. Oh well, time to get out of there. No way! Forget about it. Since it's gonna be like this, then I resign. Here I thought the pirate life would be idyllic, but actually it's unbearable. And another thing, you're the squid face. Do I have the mumps? Or did he just say idyllic and resign, Mr. Smee? I even thought I heard him call you a squid face, Cap'n. <laughs> it worked! Yahoo! Hey, not bad. There must be something. 
some instructions somewhere. Hey, but that's... that's me! I mean, it's... Dagon, I suppose. Watch out! Wait, I'm not Dagon, I'm actually John. <laughs> this is the dumbest pirate plan I've ever heard of. Well, I'd like to hear him out. It happened at the flying nursery. A suction plant reversed us, and I need the Great Book of Neverland to figure out how to unreverse our bodies. Okay, but if you are really John, tell me how to calculate the area of a parallelogram. Seriously? You could ask me anything, like, um, the color of my bed sheets or Mum's birthday, and you ask me that? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You have to multiply the base by the height. Catch the fake John! You'll never catch me! I didn't even get a chance to play on the sliding board. I don't want to be a pirate anymore! Get him! Oh, no! We can't let him get away! Why? What's the matter? I have to go back to that flower with Dakin before sunset, or else I'll stay inside Dakin's body forever! <gasps> Okay, I'll go this way with the darlings, and you look for him that way. Now this is interesting. Let's head to the flying nursery. No. Ugh. Still nothing. I can say this. Hook's pirate practice sure is tiring. I understand why they are always hungry now. John, you really are a genius. Hmm? Of course. Dagon is always hungry. All we have to do is... Is look for food and we'll find him. Huh? We should try the forest of giant strawberries. Follow me. I'll show you the way. Wait for me. Uh, it's hard being small. All I'm missing is the whipped cream. It's this way. Wow, what an amazing place. It is, isn't it? A food-loving fairy cast a spell on a strawberry plant. <sighs> Yeah, but we still didn't find Dagon. Unless he's right here. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Not so fast. Okay, I'll come. But I'm saving this for snack time. Mm. Okay, so where's the plant, John? Oh, I can't digest giant strawberries. Catch them! Oh. Catch them! Catch them! <laughs> No, we're trapped. Peter, do something. Idyllic huh? and resign. Do you really think the other squid face uses words like that? What does Dillick mean? Don't worry. I have a deal for you. I might be willing to trade a strong, intelligent pirate for a puny, no brain rat. What do you say? <gasps> That's what it's called, right, Captain? Oh, for the music of Clash of Steel! Bring it on, you old soft fudge pirate! Get in the 
I'm flying! Uh, I'm Peter Pan! Uh, didn't you ever think uh, about putting a ball on the end of your hook, Captain? <laughs> Come on, Captain Pan! You're the best! Come on, show that old girl to the leader really is. You're awesome! Twill be in the pot, the stroke I steal. When at the envoy I touch. Bravo! Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! Nice one, John! Thank you. All I have to do now is give a good audition tomorrow. I have an idea for that. You sit down. I'll wish you good night. And then I'll use my superpowers. Once upon a time, there was a frail little boy who dreamed of becoming stronger than all the giants in the world. 